Hi, good morning, everybody. Pray you're having a good day today so far. Well, we got kicked out of, uh, well, we didn't get kicked out of UPS yesterday, but we were refused service because we didn't have a mask on. So you're going to see that starting to happen more and more now as they start tightening down everything and because they're taking over you know this is a takeover it's not about any sickness or illness that's all a that's all a magic trick on y'all uh yeah so we just read that over in britain they're uh they are anybody who talks about uh well here like the CIA, the spy, the spy company or the spy agency over there, they're tracking everybody through their phones for, you know, of course, the uh, magic show, 19. Um, they're tracking everybody because this lockdown that they're, it's a na nationwide lockdown right now in this gives them the information to know whether or not they're going to stop the lockdown or extend it or whatever. <clears throat> and they said they also have a, they've been going after uh, like social media and just like they're doing here, um, social media and uh, on the internet that anybody who's speaking out the, the calling it the, the people about the uh, anti-vaccine conspiracy theories, which what in the world would an anti-vaccine conspiracy theory be? <laughs> I mean, anybody in their right mind would not let these demonic nutbags inject you with anything. It's uh, It just blows me away. You know, how easy this was for them. They just uh, told everybody that they had to wear a mask. Okay, everybody just follows around. Just follow right along. Wear your dumb little masks. Whatever. But nobody really, I mean around here. Even after the Supreme Court said that it was unconstitutional, you know, they can't make you do anything, basically, as far as these mandates go. And, uh, but still, yet everybody is just like, <laughs> there's no fight back, there's no pushback at all. Everybody just gives their rights right away. Just gives them away so easily, without even without even putting up a little stink about it, you know? You just do it, like a bunch of little wimps. It's unbelievable to me. But we know that all this stuff has to come. There's gonna be a lot harder times coming up than right now, this is just the beginning. So, So are you one of those conspiracy theorists that are against vaccines? Oh, and not to mention one of these, you know, it kills me to listen to these people, you know, with the lockdowns and everything. These democratic governors, you know, they said, you know, it, we, we all have to do our part in this, you know, to save lives. We, it's all about, we, we have to save lives. You know, back a couple of months ago, we uh, were on the way up to Traverse City and seen a sign, might have mentioned this or whatever, and it said, thank you, Governor, for saving our lives. You know, that just... It, it amazes me these people think that these scumbags care anything about them, you know? It's just, uh, I mean, these, these 
governors, you know, they uh, say how important life is to them and everything like that. But they have no problem at all slaughtering babies left and right. That's okay. You know. <laughs> that's just, oh, that's just, you can't say nothing about that. But it's, it's the exact same thing. They have, they don't give one iota about life at all. They want you all dead. So, <laughs> this place is, uh, get used to wearing the masks because, you know, Fauci said, and that's, <laughs> that's what everything's going by. Is what Fauci says and the CDC says. These private companies that are not owned by the government or anything. Everybody just listens to what they say. Like they're some kind of gods or something. Instead of the demonic scumbag, pedophile, worthless. I could go on. Things that they are. It's uh. I mean, he said that the, the masks are, they're here to stay, even after a vaccine. And because that nobody pushed back against the masks, of course they're going to be here to stay. You're going to be wearing them for the rest of your life. Get used to it. A little too late to, it'll be too late to stand up later on. Everything just progresses so fast and so far that, you know, if you don't, if you don't get it in the beginning, these, these, these scumbags are not just going to, like, give rights back to people. Once they take them, they're gone. They're gone. They said that they were going to take over America without firing a shot. They pretty much did, right there. Didn't have to fire a shot. It wasn't a war. Not that they don't want all kinds of stuff like that, which it's coming. But... Just everybody will just listen to this governor, I guess, this whatever she is. You know, she's inhabited by demons for sure. So, I don't know, just watch out, you know, if you're against vaccines and you're against this government and what they say and all of their lies that they spout through their big fat pie holes. Uh, you're a terrorist, I guess. Well, that's what Obama did say back when he was in office, that the terrorists were going to be Christians and people that were following, that, you know, want the Constitution to uphold, to uphold the Constitution. So, them are terrorists now. This is the world you live in now. So. You better get saved by Jesus Christ. And you better do it like fast. He has, he has changed me. Uh, he saved me. He works on you as time goes on. I mean, this is just stuff that he's showing me. And, uh. You need his Holy Spirit for what's coming. I mean, you need his Holy Spirit. You need to be sealed with his protection. Earnestly go to him with an open heart and tell him that you need him to, to save you and to protect you and to heal you and to guide you. Everything. And when you, you know, when you ask them, tell, tell them that you want to know the truth, no matter what cost it, it, it costs you or whatever. So, I'm going to let you guys go. See Trinity's running off over there somewhere. <whistles> Trinity! Oh, here she comes. Okay, well... <laughs> I will uh, talk to you guys later. See you, love you, bye.